Okay guys, this is video two. This is gonna be the video where we talk about the epics that are getting a nerf or a buff in the coming patch. I'd imagine there's a lot less that we're talking about um, nerfs here than we're talking about buffs. I actually just realized I included one of the epics in my last video because she was mingled in with all of the legendaries. So we're gonna go straight there because I've already talked about her in my last video. But Madame is on the list. She's not a legendary. She's an epic. I don't know why she was uh, mingled in with the the other uh, legendaries, unless that's what they're planning to change. Don't know. That's weird, actually. So Madame Cerise is definitely getting a nerf. I'm sure of it. She's got to be getting a nerf because it can't be a buff. And I'm sure it's going to be on array three in some way. Maybe it'll be changing the cooldowns, but that actually won't fix her being so strong because it's the ability that's so strong. So... I don't know. The only way I can think that they'll do this is either remove one of the debuffs out of this equation and perhaps throw it into a different move, or maybe make the remove all buffs part of array two instead of part of array three. To do both of these things at the same time is too strong, and they must be able to see that. Which, but it's very interesting that she is mixed up with all of the legendary champions. Uh, I'd be surprised if they change someone's status, but they could. There's no reason why they couldn't. So that is something to look out for. Watch this space. Um, are they going to change her actual status? So next one then on the list is a Barbarian. Um, and it is Alika. So Alika is the next one on the list. She's pretty low on my tier list. She doesn't really do anything that strong. And she takes so many freaking books. She reads all day long. She's still reading now. Um, I hope they change the amount of books she needs. That's the first thing. Change her so that she's not taking like three epics worth of books. And then she needs some sort of utility, like some sort of debuff to land or um, more AoE damage if she's not going to be doing debuffs. So she needs a bit of a full rework, I think. And let's hope that's what they're planning to do. Her base defense is super low as well. There's just so much about this character that's not good. So that's the second one on the epic list. Uh, next one is... Um, someone that I talk about a bit because <laughs> she's so bad. Canoness, like what does she do? She does basically nothing to help you in this game. None of her kit is good. The only thing good about her is her base defense. Everything, everything else is bad. Everything else is bad. She literally needs like a solid top to bottom rework. So I hope they just totally change her kit up. Just changing like one or two things here is not enough. She needs a complete rework. This needs to be the whole team. Um, and perhaps this needs to be AOE. I don't know. There's so much that needs to go on. Even then, even those two things I said, she'd be she'd be struggling to get into a team. So she needs a complete rework. Uh, next one then is in the same faction. We hope she'd be on the list, and she is. She's on the list. You know what? Her kit is actually good. So her kit is cool, but the amount of turns she takes to do anything is so long. Like she needs definitely to reduce the turns on this stuff. Um, maybe improve the chances to remove enemy buffs. She's just like old hat. Her her kit does not fall in line now with a load of the new release champions. So she needs a bit of a top to bottom as well. But I hope they keep the kind of basis of what she does the same. Just make it stronger and quicker. So hope is on the list. Um, next one on the list. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Just looking at factions. Yeah. Okay. So Rowan's on the list. This is cool. I think she is so close to being good already that she can definitely make the cut. She's a void. People want their void champs to be better than they are right now. She's kind of okay for Fire Knights and she's kind of okay for Clan Boss, but her base defense is one of the lowest in the game. The rest of her base stats are actually good. So let's hope they just kind of tweak this up, maybe a couple of hundred maybe 300 more defense please um and let's hope that she just gets a bit more of a purpose like what's her purpose in life right now even she doesn't know so the only thing she's kind of close to having a purpose in is is fire knights um and even then it's a bit like well she's all right for fire knights so let's hope they they give her a bit more of a, a kind of a dynamic yeah that's where you should use her so yeah she's on the list that's cool um Next one then. I was quite surprised about this one actually, but I guess he's he's kind of average to bad. Um Lizardman. Is he Lizardman? No, maybe he's Skimwalker. Snorting Thug. So Snorting Thug uh, has got a double hit here, can steal a buff. Bit of ignore defense going on here. If they've got no active buffs, it's a bit kind of like if this, if that. 
30% chance of removing buffs. He's all about removing buffs. Um, and if they don't have buffs, then he does some work. Now, I guess they're going to try and add in some sort of more utility. You know, maybe it's going to be he can beat debuff or maybe he's going to block buffs so that this is more chance to, to proc. Um, there's a whole load that needs to be done. He's HP based. I actually don't know if he hits hard or not. I've not had a lot to do with him, um, but he's on the list. I'm sure a few people would be happy with that. I'm really interested to see what they do to him. Comment below, guys. What would you do if you were reworking him? Um, the next one people are going to be pretty happy with. He's actually sitting at the bottom of my tier list right now. So I don't know if that's pretty harsh because people have found a use for him. But um, Taurus, yikes, this guy. So he, I think, I think he's one of the login champs. Is he, is he one of the freebies? Think he might be or maybe i'm wrong on that but what's he got he's got heals by 20 percent of the damage if they're under a poison that's kind of cool um attacks one enemy and places the big weaken that's actually kind of cool uh, and this champion receives damage equal to 99 percent of their current hp places unkillable buff on himself has an 80 percent chance of placing three poisons on all enemies so people are using him for like dragon speed runs now they found a use for him and his kit's very unique but it's so niche and it's so reliant on you having like a Xavier for it to do anything so he you know he needs a bit of a, a an overhaul but yeah he's on the list so that's pretty cool um next one then i'm really pleased they put her on the list because she is a void and she is just plain bad if you pull her as a void uh epic you want to be seeing something better than this and she is just really bad right now um She's got a, a weak hit in second hit on her A2. She's got a weaken on a five turn, books down to four turn. It's not even 100% chance on her A3. So, you know, this needs to be AoE weaken on a three turn cooldown for her to be any good. You know, this needs to be AoE hits um, with a chance of a second hit because your second hit can't crit. So it's just like, well, what's the point in it? At the moment, she's got no use, really. So let's hope they give her a bit more functionality and a bit more use in the game. I'm pleased she's on the list. Um, next one. I mean, we've got Barbarians coming out of our ears here. So I think, is it you? No. Maybe it's not a Barbarian. Oh, it is. Yeah, the other sister. So the other sister that is all about the books. Um, or maybe she's not the sister. She just looks the same. I don't know. And is she a sister? I don't know. Anyway, she's bad. Um, she's got a sleep here. She's got a stun here. Um, if they're under asleep, you know, she's got a block revive here if she kills someone. Yeah, all I mean, this kind of utility here, you've got to sleep someone, then stun them. By the time you've done that, you're dead. When you've got these sort of stats, you're just dead. Plain simple. So let's hope they give her like an AoE stun or an AoE sleep or something. Make her a bit more useful. At the moment, she is just plain bad. Um, the next one is in her as well. They're literally buffing the whole... Barbarian units by the looks of it. Tashada, terrible champ. I tried to use her. I thought she might be pretty cool for this revive. If this just did more damage, actually, she'd be she'd be cool because she'd be like a mini Altan reviving people when when she kills stuff. So definitely some utility that can come out here. She she does have increased attack buff. Um, she does have a free hit around her. Maybe this should just be an AOE hit. There's definitely definitely more that could be done with Tashada, but I'm pleased she's on the list. Okay, so next one on the list then is, believe it or not, it's another barbarian. It's the wet noodle. Here he is, Mr. Beefcake. Is he going to become a beefcake after this patch? I am looking forward to seeing what they do. Get rid of these rare style debuffs, please. Um, give him some damage. He's already got an okay base stat set. Maybe a bit more speed would be good, but let him hit like he looks. If you're going to make him out to be like this, you know, makes it Mr. Universe, let him crack people in the face. I'm really hopeful that they do a good work on Jotun because he would be fun to play around with. So Jotun, he sits as second to bottom on my tier list. Let's hope he doesn't do that after this buff. Uh, it's got to be buff, surely. So next one then, I'm trying to find him on my tier list. Um, oh, there he is. Yeah, bottom 10. So another sacred order. We've got missionary his mission in life is to find a purpose currently he has none all he's got is broken bits on his helmet to, to put to his name and a broken shield like what has this guy been up to oh, it's not even broken it's just a shape it's kind of rusty spear you know this guy um <laughs> actually lady h said he looks a bit like he could be chosen's dad i don't really know why 
Anyway, A1 has got a stun on it at the moment. A2 has got a single target provoked. A3 has got heal reduction, decreased speed. So all of this is average to bad, like all single target stuff. Um, he needs something in there to be an AoE. He needs um, perhaps a bit more damage out of his kit. And then we might have a bit more work, you know, higher percent chance to stun perhaps. I don't know. But this certainly, if we're going to do anything, it needs to be, if you're provoking someone, you should be provoking you know, a hundred percent chance. Um, well, actually, it probably is a hundred percent chance. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's just too too weak. I'm not sure. But at the moment, his kit is lackluster, and nobody plays with this guy. Nobody plays with him right now. So next one is gonna be. There's, there's a few missing off here as well, guys. I'll come to that at the end. But there's a few which I'm shocked about. Um, so I think this guy's Ogryn Tribes. Uh, which one is he? Not you. Not you. Maybe he's not all Grim Tribes. Where are you? Drop me a line, guys, if you know where Bonekeeper... Uh, Bonekeeper. Orc! He's an orc, not, not all Grim. Orc, orc, orc. Bonekeeper. I don't even know who this guy is. It's not, it's not the smiley fella. Am I going insane? Not you. Oh, it's you. Okay. It's not even a guy. <laughs> Bone Keeper. Okay. Decrease defense A1. Okay. Um, yeah, this is, I remember talking about Bone Keeper now. So Bone Keeper, so bad, I completely forgot um, what sex this person was. Just really low base defense. Um, for, you know, just nothing really in her kit that is gonna gonna kind of wake people up and say yes i want to use her for this place she's got no purpose in the game right now so let's hope they actually angle her kit to have a purpose but bone keepers in there um that is uh, it's not surprising i guess she needs a work uh rework so next one is pitiless one pitiless one kind of looks cool it looks like it's come direct out of robots the um animated film i think but very different from other champs that we see. Again, shockingly base, uh, low base defense. He's got um, a chance to gain. Uh, each, each crit heals his champion. Doesn't really matter if your defense is this low because you're going to be dead anyway. Um, it's got an AoE here, which boosts his turn meter for every crit that he does. This is kind of funky for spiders, I guess. And then an, a, an A1 that does nothing. So he just needs something in his kit. That, that gives you some purpose. Like why would you put him in, in ahead of anyone else right now? So many rares do more than he does. Um, this could be kind of fun and unique if there was something else that came alongside it, I think. So please are reworking him. Please are going to, hopefully are going to push his base defense up a bit, maybe a bit more base speed and give him something that gives him some purpose. So he's in there. Next one, again, she's, I know she's low on my tier list. She's in the undeads. Um, Hexia. No one likes pulling a Hexia. It's funny actually, is a load of these champs have just got an A1 single target decrease defense. And obviously that's not what we need in this game. We need multiple target decrease defense or and we need decrease uh, and we need single target like funky stuff like stuns and stuff like that. So she's got an A1, grants an extra turn, puts increased attack on her at the moment. Um, puts it on for two turns if she kills something like, come on, like what's the chances? Uh, everything's about her, 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 nothing team-based, uh, really bad again, base defense, just an old style champ that doesn't fit in the game right now. So please, she's on the list. Um, we've then got, not not the dad of um, Chosen, but his uncle, we've got Bushy. So Bushy is pretty similar to, to Missionary, really. Like, what are you going to do with this guy? What does he do? I've got, I had him actually... I might have even fed him. I had him on my free to play. I think I fed him. Um, he's got a, a speed or in the arena, which is okay. He's got this kind of unkillable thing, which is kind of okay as well. But again, shockingly low base defense, no real utility in his kits. So definitely needed to be on there. He's bottom 10 of my tier list as well. And then the last one, uh, which you might be surprised for me to say that because there's a bunch more that could have been on this list, but it's another banner lord. So it feels like they've really targeted in on a couple of factions here. Banner Lords did need a bit of love, and it is a legendary, which I'm uh, not legendary, sorry, and a void, which I'm pleased about. So this guy, really bad. He's got a stun here, which is okay. Allied protection here. Um, 
on all others except him, which is cool. But four turn cooldown even when booked is too long, really. Um, and then he's got a single target extra hit if they're stunned. His kit's just too weak for a void epic. So I hope they do something really funky with him. Give him some sort of AoE damage. Or maybe if they don't have like ally protection, which is kind of cool for clan boss, maybe make this more clan boss focused, like a decreased attack or a decreased defense or a weaken or something. Um, yeah, there's tons they could do with this guy because at the moment he's just bad. So that is it for the epics, guys. They are not doing um broadmoor they are not doing this is a shocker to me they did all those barbarians and they are leaving woad painted alone apparently she is fine as she is she's shockingly bad she's worse than just about all rares in the game um every time i pull a woad for someone i'm like wow seriously um and i'm also really surprised that they're not doing something with drake Drake is just so bad. Um, there's a few others they could have done with, you know, Lady Atessa, um, Terra Beast, Galcut. How's Galcut not on that list? How is Galcut not sitting on that list? He's so bad right now. So feels like there's a lot more love. Maybe that'll come down the line. At least they've got a whole bunch of them on the list. Let me know in your comments below, guys. Who should they be doing? Of the ones they're doing, which ones are you most excited about? I've been Hell Hades. I'll catch you later.